It's been a long time, hasn't it? Where have I been? What have I been doing? Well... <laughs> Life's been a lot, I'm not gonna lie. I'll talk about some personal stuff first and then we'll get into what's been happening over this period of time because I've been radio silent, but ironically, it's been one of the most productive and fulfilling periods that I've had. I just haven't been on social media. I haven't been cranking the engine of letting everyone know what's happening. So I think first things first, I'm floating in space here. There's a reason for that. I'm in new living conditions, and so I've sorted out a green screen and decent lighting for streaming, and I thought, well, let's use it for these videos as well. Um, the reason why I'm in new living conditions is because I've been through, from a personal perspective, a separation. And I only mention this because I think it's necessary to explain sort of where my head's at, where I've been. But uh, yeah, I've gone through I've gone through a separation, and it took a while to get there emotionally to be ready and to take that step. And so that's that's taken up a lot of brain space, and that's been on top of the pandemic and the world's longest and also a very necessary lockdown. Like I'm not saying that Victoria, I live in Melbourne, Victoria, and I'm not saying that uh, the pandemic has been mishandled here by any stretch, but you know, it's been a lot. And so I just, I've had the capacity for work and not much else besides. And that's meant that, you know, letting you all know what's been happening out there has kind of fallen by the wayside a bit. So what has been going on? Well, there's been a lot of stuff. There's been a lot of stuff. Probably the uh, last things first, probably the best lead in to talking about the casting and consulting work that uh, I've been doing with Taverna Voices is Age of Darkness by Playside Studios, which if you haven't checked it out, there will be a link in the notes for this video to go and have a look at the trailer, um, or I might even pop the Steam page in there, but it's a fantasy RTS that is put together by Playside Studios in Melbourne, uh, and it's fantastic. The cast is incredible. And I've been helping them out from early stages of conception around the VO side of things. So once they were ready to have someone come in and go, well, hang on, what are we going to do with voice acting? What are we going to do with accents? That side of thing, that side of things. I've been helping out from that stage through to casting and then directing as well. And it's just been a joy. And it's been an absolute gift. We just finished working with Rhiannon for the uh, Queen of Nothing update, which I believe is out now. Um, I believe it is because Rhiannon's posted about it on social media with the blessing of Playside, so I'm assuming it's out. Um, but yeah, it's incredible. I've played it a bit. I'm terrible at the game, but it sounds incredible. There are just so many little moments that we captured in directing there that are just gold. So yeah, I love it. I love it dearly. So there's been Age of Darkness, which I've been working on for some time now. I believe the conversations around that started late last year if I am remembering correctly. Time is a tricky thing right now. I remember that we weren't in lockdown at the time because we went to, I think they're called a pub where you can eat and drink around people. Yeah. <laughs> God. Ah. Ah. Um, the Citizen Sleeper trailer, working with Jump Over the Age um, via, uh, via Kapow Audio. Um, nothing to do with me. They're a an incredible Melbourne pra Melbourne based, well Australian based um, audio practitioners. Um, yeah, but yeah, working with them on that, helping them get some good um, authentic representation for the Citizen Sleeper trailer. Worked on that as well, um, which was awesome. In terms of personal projects, um, there's been a bunch of my work that's gotten out there in the wild as well. Warp Frontier is out there now. You can hear me as Vincent Cassini. Um, incredibly proud of the work that I did with Andrew Goulding there, uh, and voicing lead character, voicing the protagonist of the point and click adventure. Um, I think we did about, I want to say about 5,000 lines, but I might be, I might have that. I might be, um, like pitching that a little high there, but I feel like it was about that, about 5,000 lines worth of that. And I really love that character too. There'll be a link for that with this video as well. Excuse me for a moment, I'm just going to take a drink. Mm. 
The Dark Horde album is out as well, which is a, a heavy metal horror concept album that I did narration for. Um, love that project dearly. I've been involved in that since, I want to say 2013. Um, and that is that is one that the people behind that have kept the faith on that project for such a long time. And it's great seeing it come to fruition. So that's out now as well. You can hear that. Um, it slaps. It is as you know it's it's awesome and it's intense it's a wall of sound um let's see what else have i been doing with myself um i have voiced um voiced a character for path of exile um which was fantastic one of my goals when i first got into the industry because grinding gear games over in new zealand so close physically so nearby but uh yeah, reached out to them years and years and years ago, um, but didn't make it work at the time. So I finally worked with them and look forward to working with them again in the future. If you haven't played Path of Exile, then I don't think you're an action RPG fan because it is established as I think one of the, you know, there's Diablo and there's Path of Exile. Diablo is kind of, I feel like, the, um, the edges rounded off experience. Path of Exile is a lifestyle it is a lifestyle of the game. I played that for one of their seasons and wow, I feel like I understood like a tiny little bit of like everything that was going on there, but it's an incredible game. Um, another goal checked off the list. I worked with Mark Grau Studios, uh, voicing a character for multiple content updates for Black Desert Online as well. So that was that was well received by the client. They were happy with that. I really enjoyed the work as well, and hopefully we'll work with them again in the future. Uh, voiced some more content. I I looked back on when the last on when I'd put the last of these out, and I think that um, the latest update that I had been involved in content for, which was the Railjack update for Warframe, I think that had gotten out at that point in time, but. You'll have to forgive me if I'm repeating information I've already shared. Time, my time sense at the moment is terrible. So I'm just going to assume I haven't mentioned it before. But yeah, I worked on the Railjack up, well, the Railjack update for that. Uh, just recently released as well, the Sons of the Forest trailer. Um, it is, I, I played a little bit of the forest and I was terrified, fucking terrified by that game. And Sons of the Forest looks like that and more. It looks incredible in terms of um, the sophistication of the crafting systems and everything else. And the monsters just look really scary. But yeah, you can hear me in that. You can hear me in the trailer. So there'll be a link again in the video below. Uh, check that out. So where am I at? Because this is what's happening at the tavern this week. So what what's happening at the tavern? Well. Because of everything that's happened over the year and because of because of the emotional texture of the last couple of years and because it has been such a bounty of a year, I'm kind of moving it into a situation now where I'm, I'm in a period of gathering strength, of focusing internally on my craft. And by my craft, I mean, from a development perspective, I mean working on Alexa, Projects. So I'm continuing to work on Starship Nap and Daily Boost, which are two. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to disparage them. I think that they're fantastic skills that are smaller in scope in terms of what they're doing. But I love, especially Daily Boost, in terms of what it does. Hopefully, for people who uh, engage with it, I'm going to continue to push that out there for folks' awareness because it's a positive affirmation per day. Excuse me, and I can't think of something that is more necessary that is more welcome at the moment for people than a positive affirmation so i'm continuing to work on my alexa skills in terms of the smaller scope ones i'm continue i'm taking this time to not work with external coaches but to look back over the to look back over the information that i've gathered over the last stretch of years and really just take stock of that and really just revisit that, go back to fundamentals, go back to foundational things. I don't know if everyone's like this, but I've got a bookshelf that has a number of books that are about the acting craft that I'm embarrassed to say I just haven't had the time to read. I've bought, I guess, kind of with the magical thinking of 
buying this book will imbue me with the skills and knowledge that it has. So I'm going back over that stuff as well. I'm really taking seriously the transition into game development as one aspect of what I do. So I'm looking at that. I'm building my muscles around directing because I love directing. As much as I love performing, I love directing as well. It is There is something delightful about being able to get... Yeah, here's, here's how I differentiate them. I feel like when you're performing... There is a, that live wire is, there's nothing like it when you hit that live wire and you're really in the character. But there is also an element, especially in a directed session of uh, nervousness or um, a, a certain anxiety around pleasing the client. Do I get the shot into the basket? So there's, there's that aspect of it. And it comes with a job. When you're directing, I feel like you don't have that you don't have that anxiety. You are holding the net and so you are supporting the talent when they're performing and it's such a wholesomely positive experience of lifting people up or buoying them. Like it's emotionally draining as well, but yeah, it's wonderful. I I feel like they're facets of one overall gem that represents everything that I love about performance and so I'm building muscles around that, like reading up. So especially with life, with the world being what it is at the moment, I'm kind of, I'm just studying. I feel like if there was a word to boil down what's happening, I'm studying. I'm working the long game in terms of some plans that I've got around more audacious Alexa skills as well. And I'm really looking forward to sitting down and spending more time with them. But there has been a temporary shift, to be completely honest, around where the the focus of my time is. So I've I've always worked part time in tech, and temporarily, in order to make sure that I'm financially secure, I have increased the amount of time that I'm working in tech over this stretch of time, and that's gonna that's gonna go back. Like that balance is gonna shift back in the direction of my own work as well. But it's a necessary. It's a necessary step to take for the moment, um, but I also have I also have more time that I'm making use of. So, so that's where I'm at. So that feels a little bit that might feel a little bit tenuous in terms of like what's happening right now, but uh, I'm looking forward to having more stuff to share with you early next year. And there's going to be some exciting things coming next year. I've got some plans in the works, so stay tuned with regards to that. I hope you're safe and well. Thank you so much for watching through this. It's a bit rambly um, because I've been I'm trying to take stock here of so much time. Like we've been here for we've been here for 13 minutes now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, look, I appreciate the heck out of you watching. Um, please reach out to me. I would love to hear what is happening with you in your neck of the woods. Know that Taverner Voices is still around, is still alive, is still vibrant. If anything, it is moving from strength to strength. And there's some stuff coming next year that whew, I am so excited for. So keep your eyes peeled. And yeah, in the meantime, don't be a stranger.